Hi guys, hey. I'll show you around. Thanks for having us. Yes, nice to see you. So this obviously is where we keep all of our drying equipment here. We use this when there's a flood or some sort of a sprinkler break or whatever. Or and, mom brain oh, sets in and you leave a tap oh, running. I hate and that. I had so, that happen to me. Happened to my dad too. <laughs> So yeah. all of this equipment we use in the run of a day to dry down the structure, if your ceiling is wet or your carpet is wet, we'll bring in our dehumidifiers or our air movers and we'll set it up and we'll dry your place down as quickly as we can possibly do it to avoid anything growing or to make sure that uh, you know we don't need to rip anything out at the end of the day. Right here we have our construction materials, just a portion of it. We have a, a construction room as well. But if your ceiling did come down and we needed to put some drywall back up, we could do that from our supplies in our shop. You guys can just load it in the back of the vehicle and head on to the next job. Over this way, this is where our crews gather in the mornings. They sit down with their project managers. They talk about what it is that they've got to do for that day, what materials they may need, what equipment they may need and uh, we'll exchange information on safety issues that we're having. We'll make sure that the paperwork is there to give to the admin team so that we can get everything done at the end of the day and send out a bill quickly to our clients because we love to send out a bill. <laughs> this is uh, where you solve all your disputes? That is it. Okay. So sometimes we have uh, swords and stuff too, but in general, <laughs> we're using paddle. So I lose at that regularly. <laughs> This is our uh, lunchroom here, so we like our staff to be able to take a break when they come in. Our staff works very hard. They work very long hours. They're doing nasty work in all kinds of weather conditions, and we like them to be able to come in and relax. So at the end of a long shift, the guys can come in here. They can grab a sandwich. They can sit down and watch some television. Um, we have some cold water, some beverages in the refrigerator. We have a really out of tune piano, which causes a few laughs every now and then when someone decides that they want to be a little virtuous and play us something pretty. Uh, it's, it's really bad. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> so we, this is a shout out for any piano tuners to come on down. Yeah, please. Yeah. Out, right? So you know, if, you're, if you've got the nerve to do that particular piano. <laughs> <laughs> so moving right along, when we get uh, a fire loss or if we have uh, contents that are covered with mold for one reason or another, we will transport it here, we will set up our workstations here, and this is where we will process the cleaning. So we have uh, sinks that we use for that purpose, obviously some tables and so on. We have a washer dryer and we simply stage for whatever it is that we need and the scale that we need for that particular project. In addition, then we have these storage pods that we use. So if our clients need us to store it because we're doing a restoration project in the basement and we're replacing drywall and flooring, we can't have furniture and so on all around the place. So we will actually store it here and hold it for our clients until such time as they're ready to have it moved back in. So we track everything, we use software to make sure that we know where everything is in case some lady calls up and she needs her wedding dress for one reason or another, we'll know exactly where it is and where to pick it up for that person. So these are the lockers that our crews use. You'll see the wands here for their extractors. Uh, we want to have, make sure that the equipment that they have is equipment that they're familiar with, that they know what it was used for last, so make sure that they're not bringing anything soiled back into our client's properties. Mm -hmm. And um, each each crew has a locker that they can keep their things in over here. And you have the lockers for their MF uniforms to wear. They, they wear their street clothes here. They put it in their lockers along with their lunches or whatever else it is that they need to do and then they operate from here on out. This room here, we're particularly proud of. So, uh, Mike Edwards designed this so that we could circulate hot air. So this is a specialty processing drying room that we have built. And uh, we have desk and dehumidifiers here, which process hot, really dry air. They circulate through this 
the particular room till it hits an air scrubber. It goes through the scrubber, up through the ceiling and comes out of these two areas right here. So we constantly have really dry, circulating, really hot air. And we use this room for specialty drying for documents, wet documents, which we run into all the time. Mm -hmm. Floor tiles, carpet tiles that are wet that need to be processed. We'll put them on this contraption here. We can dry documents here in 20 minutes. Uh -huh. So we run into that in lawyers' offices, doctors' right. offices, you know, where they have sensitive documents that need to be kept for a specific period of time. We will take them here, we'll dry them, and then return them back to the client overnight. Amazing. Yeah. So we're, we're proud of this room. It's used a lot. It's not tidy right now because we're using it. Yeah, right. So moving along, we have uh, more storage pods, of course, because we do process a lot of contents in the run of the day. Uh, this is our, uh, our product room where we keep our cleaning materials, our fabric softeners, our um, property or our, uh, PPE that we have our staff wear in the field, floor protection, all that sort of stuff. So especially Surpro on these stuff in there. This is an example of the type of material that we will hold and use in our project. So this particular stuff is uh, for a project that I'm doing right now. We've got 17 condominiums. People have been uh, out of their uh, units since July, since we had flood in July. So we were invited to bid on a rebuild and uh, we put the bid in, we were successful and we're putting things back together. So we will stockpile this sort of stuff so that our guys don't have to go shopping every day. The materials are here, they're faster to the site. We can spray if we want the, uh, the trims here. So this is our carpenter shop. We can do some minor repairs or some minor construction of cabinetry if need be. We have all the typical uh, cabinet makers materials here. We stockpile specialty baseboards and so on that are hard to find. Uh, we usually will end up with some left over at the end of a project anyway. So we'll keep it here so that we can reuse it in another project. So we also pre-purchase our equipment here. So if we have an opportunity through Surf Pro to purchase extra drying equipment or extra specialty equipment that we might need, we will purchase it and we'll warehouse it here. So outside here, one of our loading docks, we have a 53 foot trailer that we take to any disaster sites that we're working at remotely. Or if we're here in town and we need a, a delivery of a lot of equipment at one time, we will bring this to a site and set it up so that we're able to get the equipment in and out of the building quickly rather than having to send a bunch of smaller vehicles over and over. So I'll just uh, show this to you.